Yo, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Envy. And your boy Oscar. Followed by Jay. And this is the Hype Empire. Eric, you were talking about a you were talking about a, a subject earlier. Can you elaborate yeah, it, on that for me? It's the difference between a good man and a man who is good at being a man. The difference between those two is there's good guys like generally like the guys that buy you flowers and all that, but there's men that other men look up to by them just being good as far as being a man like the manly image like al capone um who else scarface um el chapo guys like that that guys think like damn that's a manly man but in reality that's really not a good man like you know what i mean it's either the difference between being a, a good man or being good at being a man you know what i mean yeah it's it's a little confusing but I, I guess I get what you're saying, you know, um, the whole, you know, being a good man, you know, doing what you're supposed to do, providing everything, right? Uh, as far as going back into, like, maybe exceeding at, at certain things, you know what I mean? Like, for example, like you said, uh, El Chapo or something, like, yeah, he provided for his family, but he provided, like, to the, like, crazy like he, yeah yeah you know what i mean and like he he was a like almost like an iconic figure you know what i mean even though he was like you say Eric, yeah like he wasn't really a, a good guy but a lot of people did see him as a good guy you know what i mean i guess it's, it's just yeah go ahead yeah i guess it's perspective because the law he's not a good guy to his people he was a great guy like his enemies, he was a bad guy, but to the people that he was actually taking care of, and that, I, from what I understood, because I, I really didn't read too much into it, but that man did a lot for his people. Like, they had his back. Yeah, I'm glad you brought up perspective, because as much as I like those movies, as much as I like looking at the gangsters, uh, the movies American Gangster, Scarface, uh, Goodfellas, Casino, all that, they're all, like, very entertaining. What I got from those movies was how not to be a pushover and how to, and how to be a man, because, you know, you get those guys who are like, no, no, I, I don't want to do that. And you, you feel like you, he can be convinced into, into swaying his decision as to where those guys, you know, a Tony Soprano, like he's just going to be like, no, get it done, you know? And that's something to look up to. But as far as, as I don't know, pretty much a bully, I've never, I don't, I can't say that I look up to those guys because I saw something in those movies that nobody really talks about. They always end up dead or in jail and that's not where I want to end up. So that's not somebody who I really wanted to look up to. And I always thought I was weird that we, we always root for the bad guy, but when it's what, when it's real life, we don't. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't know, like for me, I think, it has to be a balance, obviously, right? Because you can't, you know, try to be uh, like mafioso and all that stuff, right? And like go too far with it, obviously, right? But I'm just, maybe like just their mentality, you know what I mean? Like, you know, they want something, they're going to go get it. You know what I mean? Like you want this job, you're going to go get it. And you're going to deserve that, that promotion. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you went to go get it. Like you worked hard for it. You know what I'm saying? And as far as like being like just the, the good guy or the pushover, right? You know, they're just like, oh, well, if I if I don't get it, you know, oh, well, you know what I mean? Kind of deal. I don't know. Yeah. And I think what it is, is a free mind is a dangerous mind. I think those guys, what they all have going for them is they're focused on one thing. Like they, be it power be it money, being a business, they're focused. So they're really not influenced by the outside world, like people talking and the haters. So they're really focused on what they want. And I think that helps them out like a lot, like El Chapo, he wanted to be most powerful man in period. And I mean, from what I understand, he was almost there or there already. Yeah, uh, to me, sorry, go ahead, Jay. Yeah, um, like I said, they all have good, I think they all have great qualities, like, It'd probably be if it wasn't for the drugs and and breaking the law and whatnot. I think those guys can be up there as 
politicians or CEOs of their own companies. But I mean, that's the route they chose to go. It might have been the route that was right in front of them to succeed in. But, um, you know, there's good guys that you think are good guys like politicians and CEOs mm-hmm. that do things the wrong way too. So, and, and, and how can you not want to idolize somebody like that when they have the money, the power, they get whatever they want, they get out of trouble or they get in trouble. And that's somebody that you would put on a pedestal and be like, I want that, you know? And you don't, you don't always see the bad side of that guy. You know what I mean? Like yeah. All, all these guys, they get busted in, 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 in higher places and, and they really don't get in trouble for it. But you try and doing those things and you're not going to get away with it. These guys cover all their, all their, they cover up all their bad stuff. You know, they show you what needs to be shown. And yeah. us, we're just, we're just going to be gullible and start following those things instead of looking at, okay, let's look at their better qualities. Like, okay, this guy's strong-willed. Okay, this guy's a fighter. This guy's never going to give up. And we just look at it as in, I just want to be like that guy. Yeah. So, like, it's funny that you say that, Jay, about, you know, um, kind of like a comparison between, you know, um, a mob boss or like a politician, you know what I mean? That they could be that, you know, and, and to be honest, I think they're one and in, one in the same, you know, and because like you said, you know, like a lot of politicians, they do, they do dirty stuff too. You know what I mean? That's why a lot of, we don't trust a lot of politicians, you know, and, but it's, I don't know, I guess it's that, that influence, that, that role that, that they have, you know what I mean? That, that charisma that they have, that, you know, hey, like I want that guy to, to be our leader or something, you know what I'm saying? And then going back to like, like they all end up like in jail or dead. I think, you know what, one of the main reasons they, they do that is because of greed. You know, I think greed is like the root of all evil. And I think, cause if you ever, if you ever like noticed, like once you want too much, it's like, you know, like some something always happens, you know, they get caught or, you know, yeah, I, I heard that in a movie before. It was American Gangster when he tells them, you know, um, quitting while you're ahead isn't the same as quitting. You oh, got to yeah. learn when when enough is enough, when to tone it down, when not to be so greedy. Like you got to you got to understand that. And, you know, real life lessons, most of the time when you learn that is when it's too late already. And you know what's a good example of that? Two legends, Michael Jordan, and Kobe Bryant. Kobe quit when he was on top. Michael Jordan didn't. Michael Jordan kept coming back for the love of the game. Grant said to me, he's a greatest, one of the greatest of all time, but he shouldn't have came back. And that's yeah, what everyone you, kept telling people is Kobe, you're going to come back, aren't you? And he said it, I'm never going to come back. I mean, may he rest in peace, but I seriously think he was never, ever going to come back. He hung it up and he was on top. Yeah. I, I like that because now every time you have those conversations of who was the goat, that tarnished his reputation that he came back and couldn't win it again. I mean, as a man, you make your own decisions, whatever you choose and whatever that's, that's up to you. People are going to just judge whatever. So I guess it it really doesn't matter, but as long as he was happy in the end, you know? Yeah. You guys seen, uh, say the last dance. Does it say the last dance? No. The last dance. The last dance. The last dance. Yeah. That's a different thing. thing. (laughs) Yeah. I know. (laughs) I don't know. I, I don't know. Say, I Whatever. Where you're going with this with that movie. <laughs> but no, it's you're it's the whole documentary on the on on Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. Oh yeah. You know, so like if if you notice talking about this subject about good guys and and like uh, a a man being good being a man. What'd you say? What what is it again? The difference between a good man and a man who is good at being a man. Okay, like Michael Jordan, he was good at being a man. You know what I mean? And he that's a positive figure. You know what I mean? But if if you talk to his teammates, that they some of them didn't like him. They didn't yeah, like him. It, it, it's not always easy to be strong willed like that. And and as a person, you can either love it or hate it. But I'm gonna ask you guys this real quick when it comes to that. How many times have you had a conversation with your wife 
and you ask, are you hungry? What do you want to eat? And they don't know. Sometimes people just want to be told. And I'm not saying a guy and girl thing. It's just sometimes people don't want to have a choice. You know, you go to the store and you see people standing in front of like the, the pain reliever section and they're just looking at all of them. They don't know what to get. They don't know if they need the 24 count or 100 count. They don't know if they want gel caps. So I feel like sometimes when you have too many options out there, you need somebody, and I don't want to say the man, but you want somebody to just say, here, take this one, you know? And, and I think that's the, the difference between those men. They're just decisive. It doesn't even matter what they decide. You just have to be decisive, but you still got to be a good man. And uh, I think I learned that playing flag football, man. Me being a quarterback, you wanted to make everybody happy. Let me tell you, that's not always the case. Mm -hmm. And you ask for people, are you open? And first of all, when you ask for people's opinion, <laughs> everybody's open in fo flag football. Let's just clear that up in, flag in football, anything. You as a quarterback, you're the captain. You have to decide at the end goal, people are going to complain to you. I don't get the ball enough, but they don't even care that you're winning. My end goal was I wanted to win. And people that were really good started to see that and they wanted to play with us. Like they wanted to join our team and actually be with us. The other ones that just wanted their stats and, oh, I don't care if, I, uh, if we lost as long as I got my catches. Yo, like that's the guys that didn't really get along with our team because that's not how we were built. We were built to win and they didn't understand that until we start winning. Then they, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're part, we're number one and all that. But if you don't get that right off the bat, you're not going to fit with our team. And that's even how Kobe Bryant was. Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, if you're not going to fit in his style, you don't belong on that team. Yeah, it, 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 you get to that style that you're either going to love me or you're going to hate me, but you're going to know me. You're, you're going to notice me. And, and that's, that's that strong will that you need and uh, the decisiveness. And you have to, the, the people who are in power can't look at things like, the, let me see what's best for me. You got to see, you got to look at the bigger picture and say, this is what's going to be best for everybody. I might not even like it, but this is what's going to be best for everybody. You might not like it, but you're going to respect. You got to respect it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, like to 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 strive and achieve for that for that one goal for that one common goal. You know what I mean? Uh, just putting it differently, like whether it be you know uh, a championship, uh, you know your career, you know, or for the family, you know, being. Uh, head of the family or something you know making that decision it's like look this is where we're gonna be you know <clears throat> like 10 years from now you know what i mean yeah. it's like this is how much money we're gonna make or this is how much this is what we're gonna do you know what i mean and then just go with it and like make that decisions make those decisions and stick to the plan and i think to make even to sum it all up like in a marriage the guy makes the decision, but let me tell you, his wife, what his wife says, plays a big role in it. Like, screw you wearing the pants in your family. The, the saying happy wife, happy life really exists. And you have to have your wife have your back. If you, like Oscar was saying, if you want to do something, save towards something or be something better, and your wife doesn't have your back on it, yo, you got a tough choice you got to make. I mean, it's either you going to follow your dreams and leave your wife behind or just find someone who will support you in your dreams and push you. So what did you do? What did you do, Eric? Uh, well, thankfully, if you had, I have... if you had a, I'm just saying, I'm, hypothetically, if you had a goal, right, and your wife didn't support you. Well, just... thankfully for me, my wife does. I mean, this YouTube thing, as you guys know now, you guys doing it, it costs a lot of money and it costs a lot of time. So my this is one of my dreams like making this big and thankfully i have a wife that does and i've had women that they don't support you they want the they want the fame of it all like they want all the rewards but they don't want <laughs> the fame the without the work yeah like they they don't want you the whole journey of it and that's what i'm saying when we make it big i'm glad that i found my wife because let's be realistic a lot of women are going to find you attractive more attractive now that you have it set as opposed to then, and you're never going to question, well, is she with me for my money? Because let me tell you, my wife is with me, with me now, and she's going to be with me then. So I know why she's with me. You know, I, I have something to add to that. I don't want to get too off subject, but I do agree with if the person you're with doesn't make you a better you and just brings you down, then what's the purpose? 
you have to support each other. You have to help grow each other, nourish each other because, you know, yeah, every once in a while, somebody's going to have an idea that's maybe not all there. But what I get, like, from my wife is sometimes I'll have, I'll have an idea, just say it out loud, and she'll be like, oh, yeah, do it. That's great. And I was like, wow, she believes in me more than I do. No, yeah. No, um, and yeah, and I, I just asked that question because, like, you know, like, for me personally, like, if if I do have a wife that supports me, you know what I mean? She supports me. Uh, I support her in whatever she wants to do. So, like, but if things were ever to change and she doesn't support me, whatever, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I'll, I'll say it. Like, I'll leave. Like, I'm not going to, like, I think every person should, like, know when is the, the time to, like, you know what, this, this, this isn't working as far as, like, uh, you're not supporting me or whatever, you know what I mean? And it's, it's part of that decisive decision, you know what I mean? Whether going back and forth, like, uh, like, should we work it out? Should we not? You know what I mean? And it's just, like, that decisive decision is, like, you know what, it's, like, this is not gonna work out, so like let's just part ways or whatever. But like I said, thankfully my wife, she supports me, and you know I love her to death. So, all right, that's what about you, Jay? You guys want to keep going? No, I think this one pretty much covered it up. Uh, it covered it all. I mean, once again, elaborating on 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 uh, the the subject is you really got to pay attention to who's going to help you be a better person. You got to choose your mentors correctly. And that doesn't mean you got to emulate them a hundred percent. You got to like pick and choose uh, different qualities. Cause if you just try to be somebody else, you might end up, you, you might end up where that other person ended up. And it's not always in the, in a good place. And you might not even end up happy. And I think you do choose your, your mentors, two huge things for life, your mentors and your team. You got to have a team that's going to support you and they see your end goal because they're the one that's going to help you get there. Uh, being your family, your friends, us, like you have to right. choose them wisely and your mentors and not you pick and choose like, yes, I like this from this one. I like this from this one. And then you become your own mentor. You become your own person. Yeah. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for the channel. Well, for this video, man, um, you guys drop down in the comments. Let us know if we missed anything. Let us know if what you think a real man should be. All right. Love y'all. God bless on the next. Later.